be a, a combo in itself. Uh, and they've got so many options for their engage. So much crowd control here on the side of Dignitas. Every single okay, member. But again, there's no EQ combo. So instead, it's just going to be a fight on for the Raptors. A full on 4v4 for the jungle camp. But Afro finds two with the pole rides. The Saligo is the one that's roamed around. Jose Diodo, no flash, just ghost. He's little party. The double horsies going after the scuttle crab. Which one's which? They're both wearing pink skins too. Afro going in again. Ooh, Dardock big damage on Jose Diodo. There's the stun landing in from the trample and Dardock flashing in for the Q. The smite is actually maybe enough to save Jose Diodo. And now Neo trying to find oh. it aggressive with the Seraphine, but doesn't get it. A Shockwave finds another there for Palafox as he does move Dardock in, but the ulti out of Saligo is going to save his teammate. But can he himself live as now he'll glide over the wall and indeed be safe as Diamond maybe going to find more here. Afro has led them towards the recalling Dardock mounting up on top. Johnson with the ulti is going to get the kills. The last auto does find that from me. Now Dardic moving back in, getting so aggressive, trying to find a trade kill, but it's just his life that he throws into the trash. Seraphine a little bit slow, but trailing. Everybody spotted, though, by Dardic using the plant, but Diamond has the angle. Dignitas looks like they want to force a full-on fight here. Need to wait for Seraphine, though, no, as there's the ulti there from Rel. Oriana does clip on with the shock, but there's Jose Diodo taking out Dardak as Seraphine ulti over the wall. Charms on the three. Saligo moves in for the sweep, finds four with the scoop. And now Palafox about to transform, uh, Fake Lottery about to transform once again as Palafox will indeed fall down to Saligo and Dignitas. They set up the fight. They wait for Neo and they collect three as Johnson going to be the last one left. There's the triple kill that Saligo wanted and does collect. I think that's going to be the last of them. Maybe Fake God uh, goes down here once he transforms back into Mini. Nice slow. Ooh, crunch, but no follow up there because you're big nah, not Mini nah. But Licorice are going to dance back in. Diamond now looking for the dive. Mounts up. Fake God is going to get GP ulti, but he's safe. Dada hits W like that'll save his teammate, but he's in <laughs> over the wall instead as Neo's actually up here. This could be the extended ace potentially for Dignitas. As Licorice is going to fall. Aparamu's going to CC up Diamond, and there's the fourth. That's going to be the fifth, and it's not going to be on the scoreboard, but that is technically an ace. Azir sweep from Saligo. He hits every single member, and then with fake God charging up the rage on Nar. <laughs> Aframu again trying to bait out Diamond, but Diamond's just going to walk away. Afro going to start the combo, though. Oh, he interrupts the W, actually. So now Neo going to keep working, but not a whole lot of damage without some help. Here's Jose Diodo in. Now Diamond, he's going to have to fight, but he's going to get Cataclysm there. Neo with the ulti in. Does find the time as Jose Diodo maybe went in a little too far, but Aframu is going to get out as everyone's TPing down to the bottom side. It's like Power Rangers moving in to kill the monster. Now Licorice <laughs> going to have to flash out of there as Fake God looking to go big now under the tower. Dignitas are going to find oh! this kill. Surely there's a massive now. Fires three into the wall. Empress of Ice scoops them back in. Dignitas one away. Doesn't want to get clipped here by Power Fox and Diamond, but should be okay. Okay, as Faco does indeed get the second tower on the board for Dignitas. Your sides. And honestly, even if they don't get a flank, this Dignitas squad is so tanky, they can just go straight up the middle. Ooh, tries to strike break in there, but Diamond not going to be killed just yet. Now, Saligo going to make short work of the remaining health, perhaps, as jo Jose Diodo does move in there. Decent move back, but the stun is good and not enough, unfortunately. Saligo just ulted Sitting over. Aframu and Fake God are on him. Fake God found the catch. Kaiser is going to be stunned into the wall, but Fake God just trying to play goalie here. Baron is low, and it should oh. be cracked up. Indeed, it will. Dignitas going to collect it, but now Afro gets the stun. Yeah, we're going to rotate in as Fake God just want to fight. That's a, a 5v4, and Jose Diodo maybe going to start at Saligo. Such a good target. If you can get him, the damage is there, but he's going to be shielded up from his Q and maybe be okay. But no, Johnson's going to surf in and take him out of Seraphine. Now, counter ult is Aframu. is in the middle of it all, but here comes Fake God. Power Fox is already dead, and Diamond now in the middle of the enemy. But that's where he wants to be. A great stun up by Afro. He's going to give Neo the kill onto Kaisa, and now he's going to run back there and take out Licorice as he nabs the double kill. And Dignitas, despite the great angle from the Hecarim, just will not be stopped. Yeah, they took down the Azir, but even with the main DPS down, there's so much sustain here with the Seraphine. They keep everybody else pummeling away at the members of FlyQuest who use everything to try and dive in onto Saligo. And you saw there too, uh, on the outside, Johnson, Kaisa ultimate in to finish off Saligo. But then as Saligo died, he left up his Azir wall. Finishes it off on the bottom of your screen. The Kaisa's not there, so even though they got the first pushing in on mid at the moment, as long as they don't get too close to the brush, I think they should be good. Johnson counter pushing there and all the way in bottom. There's one available right now for Johnson, and Licorice is walking over too. 
Oh, Afro is actually going to boot Diamond in as Faker with a massive no. There's driving over the top. It's the fight that Dig wanted, but Dardock is dead. That's not a good sign for your Baron Tenders. Diamond going to fall off as well, but not dead just yet. As Jose Diodo dives into the back line, but Afro finds another multi pole as there's the Shockwave. Will deny Neo and Saligo moving over, but Faker is hopping on heads and taking names there as Licorice going to be the next one to fall down. It's Dignitas to Spike. Now you can see him on the minions in the mid wave too. Now they know where it would come from. Everybody can uh, breathe easy. Like holding that wave there so they can time this push. Looking pretty good actually as Dignitas can look to break open mid. Still have bottom open, remember, but don't need to do extra work to expose that one. Fake God's going to push through top and should be able to take that out. That was so much damage from, uh, I assume, a demolish powered auto on the top side. But mid and hip's going to go down. Fake God's going to finish off that top and hip tower and FlyQuest just kind of have to make their stand. Well, their base is crumbling around them. One inhibitor left. Once that goes down and you get the double stack super minions, it is lights out. So here we go. Jose's looking around. Diamond possibly could get a flash off. Saligo's far from both of them, though. So you see Saligo's positioning. I actually like it a lot. He's pushing up the minions while also staying away from the engage of FlyQuest. So now all that they have to do, they could honestly just stand here. With all the supers coming in and the Baron buff on it, they could just watch them. Yeah, way more where that came from, too. All three in hips are now down. They've still got Baron for a minute. Ten is Afro move. There's a... Afro beats. Afro Playing beats. the cowbell. <laughs> guiding, guiding the minions in. Afro loves his music, so it makes sense that he's popping the cowbell on the precipice of victory. Diamond has to try something. Gets completely shut out by the dig support. He's going to die. The rest of them are going to dive in as Fake God's popping off. Into the backside, he goes. Nas 2 in. The shockwave is nice. But not nice enough as Dignitas take out three. Going to be looking for the Bud Light Ace. As Saligo moves on in, schmoves on in, takes down Powerfuck, grabs the triple kill, and they celebrate by blowing up the enemy Nexus to pick up win number five. Dignitas.